Hey our friends, today we're going to be drawing a Corvette. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. We hope you're going to follow along with us. We're going to draw the C8, the 2020 C8. Yes. It's awesome. We, you need something to draw with. We're going to use markers. Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah. We're going to draw a front view of the Corvette. So we're first going to draw two straight lines down for the side of the wheels. And we're going to draw them over here close to the edge of the paper. We'll draw them about this length. And I'm going to draw another one over here. We want it to be the same length and the same height up and down. Yeah. Good job. Now let's draw the fender or the part that, of the body that goes over the wheel. We're going to draw a curved diagonal line, comes in, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. We want it to be the same angle and the same height. So tip the same. If you were to draw a line right down the middle of our cart, fold the paper in half, they should line up. They should match on both sides. And there's a special word for that. Symmetrical. Yeah, symmetrical. All right, now up here at the top, we're just going to draw a short line in on both sides. Cool. Now let's turn our paper this way. We're going to turn it sideways. And this is so that we can draw a big, long curve between these two lines. We're going to draw, we're start at the top and we're going to pull the line towards us. And we don't want to curve it too much, but we also don't want it to be too straight. So we're going to draw a little curve. This is for the top of the hood or the bottom of the windshield. Yeah. Jack, good job on that line. Now that's okay. The lowest part of that curve is over here on the right side. Because we're going to color the window or the front glass black, go ahead and start here. Draw so the lowest part is down right in the middle of the cart, maybe a little higher, and then come back up and trace the same line. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now it's okay that we're, we're using markers so that we don't have to erase because we don't want to spend any time erasing. We just want to have fun and draw. Yeah. But the cool thing about drawing with markers too is that you can fix some of the things if you draw them a little bit different. There you go. Now we can color in that top part black. You won't even see that line. All right, now let's draw, let's draw the windshield, the top part of our car. We're going to draw two diagonal lines. They're going to come up like this on both sides. And we're going to start where that, where that little line came in on the fender. Yeah, you could draw it just slightly higher too. This is the outside shape. Yeah, a little higher on the left. Next, we're going to draw the top of our car. We're going to draw the roof. We're going to draw a curve that connects these two lines together. Nice. All right, now on each side, we're gonna draw another curve coming down. Now these two shapes on the left and the right are actually called A-pillars. And we're gonna draw the roof of our Corvette. We're gonna draw another curve that matches. And I turn my paper sideways again. I'm going to turn my paper sideways again, and we're going to draw the bottom of our Corvette. We're going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line. This could actually be a straight line. It doesn't have to curve if you don't want to. You could just draw a straight line, pull the line directly towards your body. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> good job, man. You did it. That looks like you used a ruler. You did such a good job. Now let's draw the splitter on the bottom of our car. We're going to draw another curve that matches that bottom line, but we don't, we don't want to go too far. We don't want to go all the way across. Let's come in about that distance and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're matching the bottom line, but we're going to stop this one. I need to bring in a little further. There we go. Yeah. You could use your fingers or you could use a ruler. That looks about right. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line that comes up on both sides. Now we're going to go up halfway on the tire and we're going to put a point and we want to leave a little space from the edge. We're going to do the same thing on the other side, halfway and put a point. Good. Now we're going to turn our paper sideways again and we're going to draw another line that's straight or a little curve and connect those two points. We're drawing the lower air intakes on the front of the car. Cool. Now we're going to draw the side of the shape. We're going to draw a curve that comes down on both sides. And we don't want to go all the way down and connect. 
We want to leave a little space on both sides. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, on the right side. Now we're going to jump back to the center and we're going to draw another diagonal line towards the outside. We'll match that same line over here on the right. I know we're kind of jumping all over, but it's going to come together at the end. Now we're going to draw another diagonal line comes up on both sides, up and in. And we want those to be tipped the same direction or the same angle. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to draw, we're going to finish the outside shape. We're going to draw a straight line that comes in. And before we get to this corner, we're going to stop and then draw a diagonal line that goes up and matches the inside diagonal line. And then let's do the same thing over here on this side. Draw a straight line in and then a diagonal line up. Next, we're going to draw the headlights. We'll start over here and we're going to draw a, a line that comes down and then right at the bottom, we're going to curve towards the middle. And we're going to stop right above this diagonal shape. There you go. Now we can draw the top. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that goes towards where we started. And then right at the end, we're going to go up a little higher and then right at the end, curve down. It's a little tricky, but you guys at home can pause the video, rewind it if you need to, but that's the general shape. Now let's repeat that same shape over here. We'll start close to this corner. Draw a line that comes down and then right at the end, we're going to curve towards the middle and we're going to stop above the diagonal line. Then we'll curve back up a short distance. <laughs> then we're going to draw a diagonal line going out and then right at the end, curve down. <laughs> now it's okay if the left side doesn't exactly match the right side. Drawing things symmetrical is extremely difficult. I drew this headlight a little lower than this one. This one's a little higher. And that's okay because the most important thing is to have fun. Have fun and to practice. Practice. I promise you draw a Corvette the second time, it'll turn out even better than the first one. All right, let's keep going. Now we need to draw the hood emblem. And what is a Corvette's logo? Two flags. Two flags, yeah. And they are shaped like a V. So we're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna draw a V right in the middle of our car and, and lower than the headlights. Nice. I love that you're concentrating, you're lining it up. There? Yeah, I, I might have drawn my, my logo a little too big. Hood emblem's huge on this one, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Gotta be proud you're drive, driving a Corvette. Yeah. All right, two little lines on the side up, and then we're gonna connect by drawing another V to connect those two lines. All right, we're gonna keep it simple just like that. If we want, we could actually draw, let's draw a line right down the middle. One side's the checker flag, the other side's the Chevrolet flag. Next, let's draw the side view mirrors. We're gonna draw a horizontal line above the fender. Then we're gonna draw two diagonal lines, one on each side. We're gonna draw a diagonal line up, on the outside and also the inside. Then we're gonna draw a line that connects the top and finishes the shape. Then let's draw the neck that's connecting the mirror to the body. We draw a short line out, then we're gonna follow the outside shape of the mirror and keep going all the way until we get to the end of the mirror and then we'll draw a diagonal line down. Then we'll draw another diagonal line to add thickness to the neck. Yeah, let's repeat that same step over here on the left side for the other mirror. We're gonna draw the horizontal line first above the fender. Then we'll draw the two diagonal lines up. Then connect the top. Then we'll draw that short line out on the outside of the mirror. And then we'll draw, trace around the shape, the outside shape of the mirror, and then right at the end, connect it into the body. Then you can also draw that shorter line to add thickness to the neck. We did it, Jack, good job. Now let's finish by adding the tires down here at the bottom. We're gonna draw, we're gonna extend this line down just a little bit. Then we're gonna draw the horizontal line that comes in and then back up. We don't want to draw the tires too tall because Corvettes are really low to the ground. 
I think it's super exciting too that this Corvette is mid-engine. It's gonna make it an awesome car. Okay, then we're gonna repeat the same step for the outside, or the right side, and then we'll draw the tire, the shape going up. All right, now let's draw those back tires. We repeat the same step on all of our front views. We're gonna draw the rear tires a little higher and further in because there's perspective. So we're gonna draw another horizontal line in and then connect it up to the top. All right, Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our Corvette. Now there's more details like in the headlights and also down here in the lower intake, but we're gonna add that while we're coloring. This part we are gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring that we do. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We first used our red and black markers to color everything solid. And we also left uh, these two lines in each of the headlights. Now we're gonna use our white colored pencil. And I also added a little black notch right here. Do you wanna add that on yours? Sure. So there's a, this little fin that comes in on that red diagonal piece and it's towards the top of the intake shape. Yeah, there you go. And then we're gonna draw with our white colored pencil, we're gonna draw a line that's on the front edge of that and it comes all the way out to the outside shape, outside edge of the shape. Then we'll do the same thing on the left side. Use that white colored pencil to go on top of the black. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom of our car. We're gonna draw, this is for the splitter, the wind splitter on the bottom. We're gonna draw an edge or just a line that comes down and follows the red shape. And then it's gonna come up diagonal to match that also. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side. Come across and then up. I like using white colored pencils on top of markers. There you go. Now, if you guys want, you guys can visit, there's a link below this video where you can head over to our Amazon art store and pick up the same art supplies that we have. We have a link to both of these marker sets. This one's Artist Loft, and then this one is uh, Biango. I, I don't know how to say that name, <laughs> <laughs> but we have a link to it. And uh, this one, Artist Loft is a little more expensive than this uh, more generic type. It's fun using the markers first and coloring it solid and then adding the extra details with our colored pencils. Now we're gonna add a line that connects these two diagonal lines together right in the middle. Also, we'll add one more line, one more white line that connects the two corners of the red shapes. There's two white lines right on top of each other. Then we're gonna imagine this line from the blade coming into the center part and we're gonna draw another line that comes in further. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Same distance on both sides coming in. Then we're gonna draw a short line, diagonal line on each side and then connect those in the, in the middle. Cool. Now this part's gonna be really fun. We're gonna draw another diagonal line that comes down from the top, from the top of the hood, and we're gonna draw it with our white colored pencil coming all the way down past the hood ornament. And then we're also gonna draw that line coming in to the black shape. Nice job. Let's do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna draw a diagonal line, does the same thing, comes down past the hood ornament and then also into the black shape in the middle. Ah, oh, you're doing so great. It's looking awesome. All right, now let's turn this line into a V. We're gonna come up, and then right at the end, we're gonna curve out to the mirror. I love all of the, these really cool details on the hood of the Corvette. We're gonna repeat that same line on the other side we're gonna draw, I'm gonna start over here by the mirror on this one. We're gonna draw the line, it comes down, and then right at the end, curve in and touch the uh, bottom tip of the first diagonal line. We're gonna add one more feature. It's gonna be right here. We're gonna draw another diagonal line. It comes down and then runs into the mirror. And we'll do the same thing over here. Diagonal line, 
runs right, oh, I said mirror, top of the headlight. You get mixed up when we're talking about all these different parts. <laughs> yeah. So a diagonal line that comes from the outside touches the top of the headlight, same thing on the right side. Next, we're gonna add the highlights with our white color pencil and some shading, but this part we're gonna fast forward again, and at the very end, you guys can pause the video again to match the color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Jack, you did awesome on coloring your Corvette. It turned out perfect. We used our dark red, a darker red marker, to go in and add the reflections and some of the shading. We also used our gray marker to add a shadow below the car to make it look like it's sitting down on the ground. Did you have fun with this drawing? Yeah. And we hope you guys had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own Corvettes. I'm sure they turned out awesome. Tell them they did a good job. You did a good job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I want to see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>